Hey guys. Welcome to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create these. So this is the animation. I opened it up for reference. Alright. Let's create a composition quickly with the same settings as usual. Enable the title action safe grid. It helps you a lot for this animation. First, create a circle. Make sure that fill is on. Align it to the center. Now, duplicate ellipse 1 by pressing Ctrl plus D. Now, go forward to 30 frames and open ellipse 1 transformation, then add a keyframe on the scale, then go to the first frame and set the scale value to 0. Do the same for ellipse 2. Now add merge paths and change the mode to subtract. Then offset the ellipse 1 keyframe a little bit. Easy ease all the keyframes by hitting F9. You can rename it for better layer management. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer. Rename it also. Then just delete ellipse 1 and merge paths. Just open ellipse 2 keyframes and offset a little bit. Just like this. Nice, our first step is done. Now create a circle like this and turn off the fill and add a stroke for this. Now add repeater for this layer. Open repeater and change the copy's value to 8 and change the x-axis position to 0. Take pan behind tool and put the anchor point to the center. Make sure you align it properly. Now add a keyframe on rotation. Then go forward to a few frames and change the value to 45. Now go back to the first frame and add a keyframe on start and end opacity and change the value to 0. Then go forward to a few frames and set the value 100. Now, offset the end keyframe a little bit. Adjust the speed of the animation according to your need. And change the repeater anchor point value to 25 and align it to the center. Now, open transform and add a keyframe on rotation. Then go forward 15 frames and set the value to 64, then go forward 15 frames again and set the value to minus 31.
Now press U to see all keyframes. Let's copy these keyframes and paste it at the end keyframe and set it to time reverse keyframe. Easy ease all keyframes by hitting F9. Now it's time for shape morphing. I suggest you to create a new composition for that. Keep all the setting as it is. Alright, create a circle from center of the composition. Just like this. Then create a star shape just like this. Make sure it's smaller than the circle. Then change the type star to polygon, also change the number of points to 6. Perfect. Then open polystar path 1, right click on it, and convert it to bezier path. Do the same for ellipse path 1. Then click on polystart path 1, and press ctrl plus c to copy it. Now, open ellipse path 1 and set a keyframe on path. Then go forward to a few frames and just press Ctrl plus V. It's done. Perfect. You can do the same with any shape. Easy ease the keyframes. Let's drag morph shape composition in our timeline and place it on the top. Now, drag the starting point at the end keyframe. We should turn on the fill for this work. Change the color of it. Also adjust the size of it. It should not be bigger than our main circle. I think the white color will be better for this design. Now just open the morphed shape and drag the keyframes to the very beginning. Perfect. Let's type an alphabet and place it inside the shape. Align it to the center. Now go forward to a few frames and add a keyframe on scale and rotation. Now go back to a few frames and set the scale value to 0 and rotation value to 1. Easy ease all keyframes by hitting F9. Now, quickly create a null object so we can control this whole animation with a single layer. I am changing its name to controller. Let's link other layers with the null layer. Select the layer and open transform. Then set a keyframe on position, scale, and rotation. Then go forward to a few frames and drag the whole shape to the left like this. Then go forward more frames and drag it to the right. Just like this. In the last keyframe, decrease the scale a little bit. Then change the rotation values something like this.
Easy ease all keyframes by hitting F9. OK. Take your time to adjust the keyframes for better animation. Let's make it slow a little bit. Now it looks fine. Type your logo name and adjust it according to the shape. Just like this. Now open the text layer and add tracking. Set the tracking value so high, something like this. Add opacity also, and set the value to zero. Now, open range selector 1 and add a keyframe on start. And go forward to a few frames and set the value to 100. Perfect. Let's add our second text and adjust its position and scale. Make sure you don't select any layer. Now, create a shape like this. Now, go to the text layer and change the track mat to the alpha inverted mat. Now go forward to the last frame and add a keyframe on position. Then go back to a few frames and drag the text inside the shape. Just like this. Easy ease the keyframes. Also, you can change the graph like this. Turn off the title action safe grid and hit the spacebar to ramp review it. Perfect, let's wrap it up for today. If you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. And if you really want these kinds of cool tutorials then hit the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video. Signing out. Peace.